Donetsk People's Republic Vice Prime Minister Denis Pushilin is to allow OSCE observers to Donetsk airport, which is constantly being under fire. According to the Vice PM, the airport may become a demilitarized zone as the possible resolution of the conflict over there. British journalist Graham Phillips, who has been recently working with Russia's Zvezda TV channel, was shot near the village of Pesky in the Donbas region. A friend of the journalist told RIA Novosti Monday. A mine shard hit him. The journalist was hospitalized. He can walk and talk. His friend said, adding that local militia brought Phillips to the hospital. The only perspective for Ukraine in Europe is to be the buffer between Russia and EU, Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban said. The politician stated the obvious. The country, which requires $25 billion of annual financial aid, cannot possibly join European Union in the nearest time. Until then, Ukraine should be a buffer between Russia and the EU. Hundreds of protesters took to the streets of Istanbul to protest U.S. Vice President Joe Biden's official visit to the country Saturday. Around 300 people gathered to chant Biden get out and Yankee go home as the Vice President traveled to meet with Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan. The demonstration was organized by the Youth Association of Turkey, the same organization that targeted three U.S. Navy sailors last week in Istanbul with similar chants. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive up-to-date news on situation in Ukraine.